Zach Cunningham. I am now the fitness and aquatics director and um, rec director or rec coordinator. This is going on my fifth year here. Um, when I started here, um, I just was a water aerobics instructor and a lifeguard, and not that many people came. Um, the aerobics, water aerobics classes that I teach are in the mornings at the 8.30 class has went from maybe five or six people to sometimes 30 people. Um, and the, our second class has um, increased. Our nighttime classes have really increased. We have a deep water class um, that is, the other night we had 22 people here for it. The water aerobics people do come from all over. We have people as far as um, Harper's Ferry come, McGregor and Marquette. I mean, I'd love to see more um, surrounding communities come. We do have four ladies that started coming from Cassville. Rain, snow, sleet, they still show up. Last year was our first year of doing the Hardy's Breakfast, um, which Dave Bauer is, does an incredible job. He don't, donates all the food. Um, last year, he said it was one of his biggest turnouts that he's ever had, but all the proceeds go to Hoffman Hall. We have um, a corporate rate. If we have 10 people from a business, they will get a discount on um, your memberships. And with that discount, they can also get half price membership to the outdoor pool. So it, I mean, especially for families, they can take advantage of fitness all, all year long. It's very emotional for me. <laughs> I don't know, because I've been here from the beginning. 52 years old, which is as old as I am. So it's, it's a great place. I think I was assisting and helping in the fundraising part of this just to try to get this facility up and running. Um, uh, to, to get it up to snuff actually uh, facility wise and now um, it's just trying to program it and uh, you know make it make it work for the community whether it's uh, you know basketball aerobics uh, you know jumping in the pool um, or a lot of the special events that we do over here too on the weekends um, that's really what it's about is getting, allowing the um, you know community to use it the way it should be used windows were marquee to get those um, put in um, and we did get a grant from the state hundred thousand dollars to assist with energy efficiency going into the building the whole front foyer entrance way totally changed making things all handicap accessible um, again we got another uh, grant um, to take care of those needs including a, an elevator and that was essential because we had a lot of people coming and going that could not get in here um, into the pool, which is in the lower area. So that was extremely important. Uh, the front lobby area, the, the donor wall was something that was, I know, a phase two project. And by the way, this is all phase one is what we're talking about right here, right now. And um, that, that's a wonderful um, addition to um, facility and actually plugging and showing the people that have contributed um, to make this a reality. The kitchen area again was a phase two, but we had a lot of donations. And most of the things that you see in the kitchen um, were donated, um, and we've had some things that we still need to do yet. So, but it's usable, and we do you know utilize it for concessions and a lot of the other events that we um, have here. Um, going into the gym, the the most I, I think the, the thing people see first is obviously the the, the gym floor. That's the original 50 year old floor. Uh, that we've renovated, um, they sanded down and uh, uh, added the lines and so we do have one full basketball court which we play a lot of the uh, high school games on. Uh, we have three cross courts, um, we uh, have three volleyball courts, um, three badminton courts, um, so we can do a lot of things with it. We have a gym divider that uh, you know, we, we utilize that and so we can have multiple um, things happening at the same time. Bathrooms are bought brand new. Um, they were hand, they're made handicap accessible. Downstairs, you, you will not see a lot of the things. So, uh, relatively not a big, like in the basement, there are 
Uh, we did get a brand new, however, a brand new uh, pool filtration system that is uh, absolutely wonderful. The clarity and the, the actual part itself is, is, you know, bar none, the best around. Phase one costs about one point eight nine million dollars, and it was it was uh, one point five million was generated through uh, our fundraising. Now we do need another one point six million to complete the entire project, which primarily deals with um, the, the air conditioning, uh, deals with putting in some community rooms, uh, real community type programs. We don't really have a rooms for that for yet, and that'll be overlooking the, the pool deck. Um, and also completely changing the downstairs area, which will be a fitness area, which will um, in essence include walking tracks, uh, fitness machines, uh, things a normal fitness center would have. We would like to have a daycare started up down there. Um, what we're trying to do here is make this a regional community center. Uh, you know, we, we deal with uh, the people from Marquette, McGregor, Iowa, from, from uh, Ferryville all the way down to uh, Lansing to, to Potosi. People come from all over here already. Um, there is not a pool the size of the pool that we have here. Um, you know, we have swim teams here. We have a lot of things happening and so it's certainly not just for the city of Perch and residents and, and again with an hour distance there is nothing like this in this area.